Good morning. It's uh, probably the last, probably, it is the last theme park day of 2017. So uh, what better, better way to, uh, to end our theme park year with our home park, the Efteling. Well, actually it's, it's Suzer home park. I just uh, been here a lot. So it's, it's not that busy actually at the moment. We are currently uh, rolling along the, the monorail above uh, the Laugh people, which is uh, one of the classics here at the Eiffel. Well, not really classic. What time did, did it open? I don't know, it was in uh, the 90 somewhere. Yeah. We'll put the, 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 the date below. But this is uh, like, like a little village of. Uh, of underground underground dwellers that uh, emerged here in the Efteling and uh, they have this cute little town and uh, we're in a snail monorail as you can see and there are all these uh, houses of the laughs this is the what do you call it the brewery 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 So I'm sure we're gonna have a fun-filled day. This is uh, every year for the past couple of decades they've been having. Uh, it used to be open only in summer, and they would have the the winter Efteling, which was basically uh, two or three months that they were open with all kinds of uh, holiday and, and winter festivities. But now uh, that the park is, uh, they can see some uh, some snow-covered trees. Now the park is open all year, they still do the winter wrestling, so um, that's why we're here actually to check it out because they're all they all have fun campfires and they have a big tent with uh, with the ice palace in it, so we'll have to check it out. For now, some more footage of the laughs. So that was the Laugh People, Laugh Village. Not really a translation for uh, for laugh. It's a made-up word. So the English translation for laugh is just laugh, I guess. Now we're headed uh, to Dream Flight, where you uh, basically fly through dreamscapes. And there's our first campfire with some uh, nice snow covered trees. It isn't actually real snow though. We do get snow in Holland every now and then, but this is fake. But still, it looks nice. Yeah? We're gonna take a picture again for a moment. We're gonna take a picture for uh, in front of a tree. <laughs> that was the picture in front of the tree. This nice cozy campfire. And this is just something to do uh, only for Christmas. And they have all kinds of shows and entertainment and special stuff. Yeah. 
Here we go. Complete darkness. Uh, dream flight also classic it's, it's always it's such, just such a fun and cute ride it is a small thrill element not too scary but it's just just a classic dark ride and and uh, actually one of my favorites yours too right they, they have a new dark ride here too it's it's uh, Symbolica which is it's nice very nice but it, for some reason uh, this one and the other one Fata Morgana the other side of the park are, are I don't know more magical more that there's something about them that, that makes them better in my opinion I like them at least I like them better so let's see what we can do now Bar. 
with, and I think this is something only Dutch and Belgian people know, a snack wall. And for those who don't know what it is, you uh, just put it on it and you get your snack out of one of these uh, little boxes. Don't worry, the snacks are fresh. I've been here for, for, for days and days. But that's uh, typically Dutch. It's a nice eating area for the parents to watch their kids as they ride. Some classic rides. Classic kind of their rides. Like these. Again, this one isn't on yet, but another fireplace. So they've done all kinds of fun stuff to uh, to make it more uh, cozy, I guess. Yeah, more and more give it that, that wintry feel. With snow on the roof again, not real snow. If you wish, but it gets the job, the, the job done. I'm sorry, I'm a bit stuttery. Yet. I'm probably tired or something. But so yeah, this is this is Alton Peak Square. So the Ice Palace. Low frequency LED. So what they have here is like an ice skating rink. And seating areas. This is so nicely done, I like it. I think it's the first time they ever did it this, this elaborate. It's been here for like the past five years that they've done this. Hmm? Five years that they've done this, like this. Yeah. Or more. Hmm. At least for, for some years now, but this is this is probably the first time it's been done so elaborate. This is real ice. Yeah. It's not fake ice. It's a real ice floor. Frozen over, so no uh, plastic, uh, artificial ice, real ice. I really like it. It's, it's just so. To be clear, this is temporary. This is a temporary setup, and for some reason, they really outdid themselves this year. And Sue spot of, uh, spotted uh, slides, so uh, she's she's headed there in, in a blind <laughs> blind daze. <laughs> A little dance floor there. Smell the FP suit. Food looks really, really good. Fresh sandwiches. Sandwich with meatball. Pisu. 
little quiche. Let's look at that. Yeah. There's a little bistro there. <laughs> a little bistro there too. I think it might be just for for drinks though. Oh no, it's a, it's not a bistro. It's a skate rental. So you don't have to bring your own skates. <laughs> you have to bring your own skates. You can you can rent them here. I think they're free even. And an outside ring too. Little outside drink. Awesome job. And now we're headed to uh, what's this travel realm? Deze rijk. So a while back there was this little coaster, Casey Jr. And uh, it was actually the first coaster that get that got uh, it's not really a coaster, but still that got onboard audio, which was basically a test for Space Mountain in Disneyland Paris and many rides afterwards. And Efteling's response to Space Mountain was Bird Rock, and Rock is its name. It's not it's not an actual rock. It's R O K. But it's a roller coaster in the dark about the voyages of Sinbad. It's a nice, fun little coaster. Not too scary. And again, another fire. And some nice Christmas trees. And if you're wondering, I thought I would have a clear view of the, of the performers here, but if you're wondering, why do I know that song? But I can't understand it because they're singing it in Dutch. It's a pretty literal translation. Yeah. 